Hello everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews and welcome to another review. It's great to have you here. Uh, this one we're reviewing this time, this is uh, Brewdog's Rattle and Rum. It's a rum and oak chip stout, coming at 7.4% ABB. Um, got it in Sainsbury's, in fact I think exclusively available through Sainsbury's at the moment and uh, bottle shops and um, Brewdog website, places like that, but supermarket wise, exclusively from Sainsbury's, uh, £3.50. Um, Brewdog can be, as we all know, a little bit hit and miss. Um, from being brutally honest, I tend to like a lot of their stuff they do. They're a bit different to other brewers. They brew sometimes a little bit differently. Um, but yeah, the, the very rare, if I'm being honest, very rarely I will have a Brewdog beer and I think, don't like it at all. There's always something to be taken from them. Interesting the name actually. Um, Rattle and Rum because it reminds me of the um, Rattle and Hum, the U2 album. Uh, late 80s, I think it was, when U2 were a great band. I think I've got it somewhere. I think, if I remember rightly, I think because uh, all my music is from the 80s. Um, oh, oh, massive rum, rum aromas there. Um, I think Desire's on the album, which is one of their best songs ever. Um, right, for a start, this has been out a couple of months, I think, now. A lot of you will have tried this, so uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this one. It'll be interesting in seeing um, people that follow me, follow the channel, what you actually think of this beer. That has poured Jet Black. It's as black as night, as black as you can get it. Uh, there's no light coming through that at all it's got a lovely one finger looks like a nice foamy a uh, creamy um, tad head looks really good this uh, I can smell rum anywhere but let's get a proper sniff shall we chocolate rum it smells like rum and raisin actually, which is one of my favourite ice cream flavours. It does smell like rum and raisin ice cream because I can smell the chocolate and it's rum and raisin and like a vanilla lactosey, oaty sort of aroma. So it's it, it, it is that vanilla-y stuff, vanilla-y kind of flavour that's coming through on that flavour, aroma. So it is like a rum and raisin ice cream. With chocolate. Smells absolutely fantastic actually. It smells really good. Looking forward to this. Right. Cheers everybody. It is really good. First, it's worth saying, alcohol wise, you can tell you're drinking something of a little bit more than sessionable strength, but it's not overly strong, which is quite nice. No harshness in there with the, the alcohol that's in there, it's quite nice. It's really smooth, stout. Flavour wise, you got your chocolate in there, you, it's, it follows the nose, you got your chocolate in there, you got your rum in there, you got your little bit of raisin flavour in there, a little bit of vanilla coming through. There is a malty, roasted malt flavour, so you have got that little bit of coffee in there as well. Not as um, thick and luxurious as I was expecting. Just feels, don't know. You, you, it'd be interesting. I've got another. Um, I've got an imperial stout coming up, and I've got my own. 
uh, stout as well so interesting how mine compares to that it just feels a bit thin not massively thin but a little bit thin nice level of carbonation I wonder how we get that rum flavour as I was drinking that I've just read up the brew dog have started or oh, they've started distilling a few spirits and rum is one of them um, so I just wonder if they've got um, put some of their own rum in here water malted barley uh, malted extrin yeast flavourings and hops so they've got a that they've got the ingredients in there for a good beer and then it's got that flavouring in there as well which I'm guessing will be a rum flavouring which would be interesting because that could actually come from their own distilled rum that's what that, that could come from that they could distill their own flavours get their own flavour profile from their own rum and that's what could be in there I don't know but it's possible It's just a really nice. It's a really good, easy drinking stout. Um, they do nice stouts. They do some really good, nice stouts actually. So I'm, I, I shouldn't have been too surprised by it. But it's really good. The head retention is brilliant on this beer. Just take a little few swirls every so often. But the head retention is absolutely magical. Yes, on the flavour again. Like I say, you got that rum, raisin, vanilla, chocolate, a little bit of coffee um, at the back end. I'm trying to decide what the aftertaste is. A little bit of um, bitterness coming from the hops, a little bit of coffee bitterness in there from the malts. But it's got a nice, mild, very mild though, rum in the aftertaste, sweet rum in the aftertaste. I suppose that's the other thing to say about it, it's not an overly sweet stout. That is a really nice beer. That's a gorgeous beer, that. Really, really, really enjoyed that. And I'm going to get some of those in for our, uh, I haven't got long over Christmas because obviously get married New Year's Day. Then we're away to Florida for a couple of weeks. Uh, but yeah, really like that. I'm going to get some more of those and uh, have some more of those over the uh, festive period. Score wise, ratings. I am going to rate that. The way just a little bit thin. But that's the only thing wrong with it. I'm going to rate that a 9.5 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Andy's Beer Review. So, if you're drinking tonight, please enjoy it. Until the next review, cheers, everybody.